quite Let's get to the red hot issues. The working class black against the working class white. This mm -hmm. is where it gets really hot. The mm -hmm. firefighter. Mm -hmm. the, the white right. firefighter who may be Italian I, or whatever ethnic group he is, who's been busting his butt, staying up all night, I, passing the exams. He passed the exam. The African-American guy doesn't. What do we do? I think, do we look, do it by I diversity or by who passed the test? Where's where we go that's by? The, that's we go by Chris, the road. Chris, we go by the Olympic model, if you will. Look, if the top 10 slots in sprinters are all African-American guys, the top 10 guys in high jump and all the rest of it, and the top 10 guys have, who happen to be on the swimming team or on the, uh, on the hockey team are all white guys, yeah. let's go with the best. Whoever yeah. wins in fair and free and equal competition, that's what America's all about. So the let me Olympic ask you, Tom, you, Pat, have you have don't to, really you believe, right it. away, I think a lot of NBA teams carry white players. Do you think so, Pat? Just so they have some I don't white know, players the NFL is two I think they do. The NFL right is two-thirds African-American. Steve Nash. Chris, Steve and Nash. Steve Nash. Nash. Okay. Okay. was MVP <laughs> okay, two years in a row. He's Nash. the best point guard in the <laughs> okay. league. Okay. Uh, I love Dirk Nowitzki is not I bad. I love you when you I mean, come okay. on. You know, okay. So, okay. Okay. So, okay. so let's not diss white players. Let's not diss all white players in the NBA. I think Larry Bird got where he was because he was the best. The white players, they at least got to be able to shoot. Okay. Okay. 